Amen. All right. Shall we all stand, please? Oh, man, we need to get out here before 12 o'clock. Uh, because it's Sunday special. At tayo po ay medyo nag-adjust time. All right. Let's, let's start our Bibles, please, in the book of Isaiah. And then we will turn again to the book of Matthew chapter 1. And later to Luke chapter 2. All right, Isaiah chapter 7 in verse number 14. Isaiah chapter 7 in verse number 14. If you are with me, say aloud, Amen. amen. Isaiah, paki, paki uh, gabayan na lamang po yung mga wala pong uh, Biblia. All right? The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 7, verse number 14, Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. All right, let's go to Matthew chapter 1, verse number 23. Matthew chapter 1, verse number 23. All right, here's what the Bible says. Behold, a virgin shall be with child. And shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Alright? Ayos ko pong magsalita sa inyo, so magang ito, the title of this message is Emmanuel. The Bible says, God, which is being interpreted, is God with us. With us, yan po ang ibig sabihin ng Emmanuel. But the Emmanuel was referring to a child, na na ipapanganak ng isang birhen. Okay, God is with us. Explain ko po yun sa inyo mamaya after we pray. Tayo po sa dalim na langit. Kila ng Dios, salamat po sa mga nasaksiyam po namin sa magang ito mula po sa Sunday School sa Awitan. Sa choir at uh, special music, Panginoon. Salamat po sa passages na binasa po namin. At salamat sa presensya ninyo, mga anak, maging sa mga bisita po namin ngayon. Pagpalain niyo po, Ama. Patuloy kayong gumawa sa aming kalagitnaan. Patuloy niyo ipakita, Panginoon, inyong kapangyarihan sa aming kalagitnaan. Baral Espiritu, kailangan po namin kayo. At hindi ho mangyayari ang mga bagay na gusto niyo mangyari. We, will, we cannot attain it. We cannot uh, fulfill it. Not until you uh, uh, take care of all the things that will transpire this morning. So please, be with us and uh, meet the needs of everyone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, thank you. Pwede na pong maupo. Alright, listen carefully. Dito po sa ating kalagit na. Pagkat hindi po tayo magtatagal dito. I want you to give the message. And just come back tonight and don't miss the message this evening. Alright? Now, in the book of Isaiah, if you can remember what I preached to you last Sunday, ang sabi ko po sa inyo, Isaiah prophesied the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ 700 years ago. Okay? And now, at the... Uh, during the during the time of Luke, I uh, or sa kapanganakan mismo ng Panginoon sa Kristo because Luke preached during the day of uh, the, the, the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ and the angels announced it. Luke was preaching about it. And uh, uh, and that was seven year, 700 years ago. Alright? Now, napakatagal na po. And so the Bible says here, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son. They shall call his name Emmanuel. Well, I like I like the titles that uh, Isaiah gave in the book of Isaiah, chapter nine, in verse number six. If you are familiar with that, nang sabi po ni Isaiah. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a sign is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called what? Wonderful. Are you with me? Wonderful. Counselor. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. I like this title. 
I believe if, 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 if you understand, if you only understand what all this title means, it ang ibig sabihin po nito, all this title can meet the needs of men. Are you following me? Kaya ibinigay po itong title nito, hindi po ipinapakita ang galing ng Diyos. Kundi ipinapakita po rito ang pangangailangan ng tao. But as far as I'm concerned, personally, I mean, uh, I like this title right here. Sa mga sabi ng Biblia, uh, 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 ang sabi po ng Biblia, He shall be called Wonderful. He is Wonderful. But as far as I'm concerned, sa akin sarili, I don't know about you, nagsasalita po ako sa akin sarili. But He make a way out of no way. That's why He is Wonderful to me. You see, I don't know sa inyo, sa inyo sarili mga kapatid kung paano siya tatawagin wonderful. Maaaring isa sa inyo ngayon ay meron nang nangyari sa buhay nyo na halos hindi nyo mapaniwalaan kung paano kayo mag-survive. He, you can see the way, but God made a way out of knowing for you. Everybody here, mga kapagsabi pa, so hindi ko na alam kung saan ako patutungo. Halos lahat ng, pa, halos lahat ng kanto na titignan ko ay dead end. Wala na akong patutunguhan. But God made a way. Amen. He is wonderful. He is counselor. I need a counselor every day. I need, I, I, I need God's wisdom every day. Araw-araw, bago ako lumabas ng bahay, bago ako matulog, pagkagising ko, Pag bago ako kumain, bawat galaw ng aking buhay, mga kapatid, kailangan ko ng counsel mula sa Diyos. And bless God, there is a promise that a child will be born and His name will be called Counselor. Amen! And look what the Bible says here, um, the mighty God, mighty God, that He can do everything. Yeah! Without, without Him, I can do nothing. That's why He is mighty God. Man, may mga kalaban ako. May, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. May, 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 may mga, may mga kumukontra sa akin, sa aking ginagawa sa ibabaw ng lupang ito. May mga taong ayaw ko. May mga taong ayaw sa akin. May mga taong, you know, na uh, ginagamit nila ang kanilang kapangyarihan. Ginagamit nila ang kanilang position sa ibabaw. Eh, ginagamit nila ang kanilang influensya sa ibabaw ng lupang ito. And you know, physically speaking and personally speaking, hindi ko kaya silang harapin. But you know what? I have a mighty God. Mighty God. The mighty God can beat them. No one can beat my mighty God. Bless God. He is mighty. Mightier than any mighty. Smile with it. Amen. And not only that, the Bible says the everlasting Father. Boy, I'm telling you, I need comfort. I need somebody to top on my back when I am discouraged. I need a father. I'm a father, but I need a father. To father me yeah we all need a father to father us listen our fathers in this earth brethren sila po ay mga limitado minsan mga patid nauuna yung bata minsan nauuna yung tatay ang ibig ko sabihin lahat ng mga father dito ay limitado lahat ho ay may hangganan but listen we need an everlasting father when no one will comfort us, when no one is on our side, brethren, there is an everlasting Father that will top on our back and say, Son, I'm here. Baby, I'm here. Bless God. There is a child that will be called an everlasting Father. And the Bible says, The Prince of Peace. Lahat po tayo na ang ilangan ng kapayapaan. Kailangan ko ng kapayapaan bago matulog. Ako'y nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon. Every time na matutulog kami ni Maki, na nalangin, na nalangin si Maki, Panginoon, bigyan niyo po ng kapayapaan si tatay bago po siya matulog. Sa kanyang pagtulog, bigyan niyo po siya ng kapayapaan. I need peace. I need peace. When I hit the bed, I need peace. When I go to church, I need peace. When I go to when I go somewhere to the mission field, I need peace. When I talk to to somebody, I need peace. Araw-araw saan man po tayo pumunta, kailangan natin ng peace. And here is the son. The Bible says his name shall be called Prince of Peace. Yeah, boy, I like the title right here. 
I don't know about you. If you like it, say loud, amen. amen. But you know what? There is one more title which I think above all. And at ang iniisip ko mo po this is all we need. What is that title? Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 1, brethren. Verse number 23. Behold, a virgin shall be with child and shall bring forth a son and they shall call his name what? Which is what? Being interpreted is God with us. Ako po'y naniniwala na ito po ang kailangan po natin lahat. We need to be assured, brethren, that God is with us. I said we need to be assured that God is with us. Now, if all of us could be assured that God is with us, I believe that we are all set. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Naalala ko yung isang bata. Yung bata na naginip. At pagkatapos na naginip, sabi niya sa kanyang tatay, Dad, na, 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 nagulat yung tatay niya maaga, uh, about 2 o'clock early in the morning, nag, 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 tumunog yung, yung door na binubuksan yung, binubuksan yung uh, kwarto ng kanyang tatay. At pagbukas ng ganun, bigla naramdaman yung tatay, may tumabi sa kanya, napansin niya, yan pala yung anak niyang bunso. Sabi ng tatay, bakit anak? Ano problema? Sabi niya tayo na naginip po ako at nakakatakot yung panaginip ko. At hindi na ako makatulog. Sabi niya, ah, alam niyo, may mga magulang na ayaw nilang katabi yung kanilang mga anak. So ang sabi niya, anak, gusto mo ba sindihan ko yung ilaw? Habang natutulog ka, gusto mo i-on ko yung light? Sabi niya, sabi niya, tayo wag na. Yung matiyak ko lamang nakatabi kita, okay na ako. You understand what I'm talking about? Just to be assured of the presence of God, we are all all right. Amen. Isaiah said, you know, his presence is everything to me. And then Isaiah said, his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. I like that. The mighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Wonderful God. I mean, okay name of that. But listen, above all, the Bible says, God is with us. He is the Emmanuel. Kapatid, imagine, nung siya'y ipinanganak ang sabi ng Biblia, now a child is born and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which is being interpreted is God with us. God with us. I don't know, but Tingnan niyo po mabuti, mabuti. Pag-aralan niyo mabuti kung paano siya napunta rito. Kung ano ang kagandahan ng presensya ng Diyos. Siya ho na hindi ho nagkaroon ng room para sa atin. Hindi ho siya nagkaroon ng room nung siya ipinanganak. Kaya nga po napunta siya doon. Kunento ko na po yan sa inyo kung paano po nangyari yan. But what I'm trying to tell you, brother, is this. He who has no room when he was born makes room for us. Tayo na unfit kapatid. Hindi yun. Look what the Bible says. He came. He came unto his own and his own receive him not. But as many as receive him, to them God gave the power to become the sons of God. He made us fit kapatid. He made us fit Though we are unfit. Siya yung walang room, pero binigyan niya tayo ng room. Siya yung fit, at tayo yung unfit, pero ginawa niya po tayo yung fit for His kingdom. He made us fit to His kingdom. For all, remember what the Bible says, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. And the wages of sin is death. We are all unfit into his kingdom, mga patid. When wala pong magkapagsabi sa atin na ako po'y karapat dapat sa kingdom ng Panginoon. Ako'y qualified sa kingdom ng Panginoon. Listen to me. When we are unfit, God commended his love toward us. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He made us fit. We are made free from the sin 
and become servants to God. Sino mga kapagsabi sa atin dito? Kanina, kung naririnig niyo po ang testimony mga patid, ni Brother Willie, ni Brother Al, ni Brother Roy, na, na, na nakita po natin yung kanilang mga sinasabi. It's all because of Him. It's all because of Him. Hindi po kami makapunta rito sa etabladong ito, sa, sa harapan na ito, na kung saan po kayo nakatingin, tuwing may service po tayo, at marahil yung iba po sa inyo, ay tumitingin kayo sa amin dito, na mas mataas kami spiritually. Kung paano yung tinitingnan yung pare, kung paano tinitingnan yung papa, kung paano yung tinitingnan yung mga sakristan, ganun din po tingin nyo po sa amin. But listen to me now. Kayong mga nakaupo dyan at kaming mga nakaupo rito, lahat po tayo unfit sa kingdom ng Panginoon. But because of the Lord Jesus Christ, His life, He came down to save us. Now, He made us room and made us fit though we are unfit. Lahat ng mga ushers dito, wala tayong pwede, wala kayong pwede ipagmalaki sa position ninyo. Lahat ng mga security rito, hindi kayo abab sa kanino man dito. Lahat ng mga Sunday school teachers dito, hindi kayo mas holy kaysa mga taong nakaupo rito sa loob ng auditorium. Kayo mga musician, hindi mas mataas kayo spiritually sa kanino man sa mga nasa loob nito. At sino mang nakaupo rito sa loob ng auditorium na ito, maaaring bago lamang kayong maligtas, maaaring bago lamang kayong nabautismuan, maaaring bago lamang kayong sumunod sa Panginoong Iso Kristo, maaaring bago lamang kayong mananampalataya, maaaring babes pa kayo in Christ Jesus. But listen to me now, there's only one man, one person who came to this world that made us fit to his own kingdom and now we all belong to the kingdom of God because he made us fit though we are unfit that's the coming of our savior that is because a child is born a child is born he came to his own and his own received him not but as many as received him God gave the power to become the sons of God hindi po tayo. Kaya salamat sa Panginoon. Kanina sinasabi ni Brother Roy, dumating man ang pagkakataon na siya pupunta ng langit. Kung siya man ay mauna, sabi niya, hihintayin ko kayo. Siguraduhin niyo na susunod kayo. Siguraduhin niyo na mga kasunod kayo. Ako sigurado ko makikita ko si Roy. Sigurado yan. Sigurado yan. Siniguro niya naman na pupunta talaga siya doon eh. Iisa lamang kung ang nagbigay sa amin ng katiyakan. Bakit sigurado niya makakapunta doon? At bakit sigurado ko rin makapunta doon? At bakit kaming dalawa nakakasiguro na parehas kami magkikita? Iisa lamang ko ang nag, nag-fit sa amin sa kingdom ng Panginoon. Hindi po siya pupunta doon dahilan sa kanyang talento. Hindi po ako pupunta doon sapagat ako'y pastor. Ako po'y pupunta doon at siya pupunta doon because we are going in the same way and that way is no other than the Lord Jesus Christ. A child is born. A child is born. Wala hong special na kaligtasan dito kahit na special child kayo. Wala hong special. Basta ho ang alam ko, si Kristo, na may panahon tayong hindi na natin malaman ng pamamaraan, siyang gumawa ng paraan. Ang tao nag-iisip hanggang ngayon kung paano siya pupunta sa langit. In fact, ang nakakatuwa nito mga kapatid, hindi sa ordinaryong tao lamang ibinigay ang announcement na merong ipapanganak. You understand that? Sapagkat, sapagkat ang tao ay kilala sa pagsisinungaling. Kaya ho, hindi ibinigay ng Diyos sa tao ang announcement na merong isang ipapanganak. Kanino, kanino ho binigay ng Diyos? Ibinigay mismo ng Diyos ang karapatan na mag-announce ng kanyang proclamation na merong isang anak na ipapanganak sa kanya mismong alalay sa langit. Walang iba kundi ang angel. Angel was given the, 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 the right to proclaim that there's a child is going to be born in Bethlehem. You know, Bethlehem is not a big place, brethren. It's not a big city. It's a small city lamang. You see, kaya nga po, mga kapatid, kaya ma- ma- maliit lamang yan upang ma- marinig ng napakarami, mapansin ng napakarami ang announcement ng angel. Minsan kung kailan marami, 
Saka naman magsalita ka ng katotohanan ay hindi ko papansinin. Sapagat ang marami karamihan ay merong ibang pinapansin. Let's go back to the book of Luke chapter 2. When the angel announced the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And again, brethren, bless God. The presence of God is with us. The presence of God is with us. Here is the assurance. And the Bible says in chapter 2 verse number 8, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Unawain po natin ang mabuti ang talatang ito. Notice what the Bible says here. There are shepherds abiding in the field. What is in the field? Sheep. The, the field is filled with sheep. Are you with me? And notice what the Bible says here. Keeping watch over their flock by night. This is not a day. This is a night. Hindi po ito araw kundi ito'y gabi. Ano po ang ibig sabihin nito mga kapatid? Na yung shepherds nagtatrabaho ng 24 hours a day. Yung, 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 yung shepherds ay nandudun siya, nakafocus sa kanyang trabaho the whole day. 24 hours. Imagine that. And by the way, noong araw, hindi po hinahangaan ang mga ang mga shepherds. In fact, hindi mo ito po yung trabaho noong araw na hindi mo na kinakailangang mag-aral sa labas para ka maging shepherds. Hindi mo na kinakailangan na magbihis ng maganda para ka maging shepherd. Hindi ito sila ho yung mga tao na hindi iniimbita sa mga Christmas party. Sila ho yung mga I hope you understand that. Sila po yung mga tao, grupo ng tao na hindi ho iniimbita sa social gathering. Why? Sapagkat sila po ay nagbababad at nag they are spending much of their time in the field filled with sheep. And because you are working in the field, Filled with sheep, you smell like a sheep. Anybody following me? So of course, uh, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, nakarating po ako sa ganyan lugar, mga patid, na hindi po lahat siya nandudoon sa nag, nagkumakain. And then sa oras po ng, ng uh, uh, bago magdilim, unti-unti na po nilang Tatawagin yan, ihahabog, habugin na po nila yan, papunta po doon sa kalang sisilungan. Isa yung ginagabay na po yan ng isang pastol na kung tawagin ay shepherd sa Bible. Okay? Now, so, uh, imagine na nandudoon po sila at habang nandudoon po sila, of course, yung amoy, ganun, ganun naman po lagi tayo, kung ikaw ay nagpa-farm, kung ikaw ay nag, uh, nagsasaka, nagtatanim ng palay, at ikaw ay nag-aararo sa lupa, alam niyo ba kung anong amoy mo? Amoy lupa rin. Yeah. Di po ba? Pag ikaw ay manging isda, amoy isda ka rin. Now imagine itong mga taong ito that are working in the field, filled with sheep. <coughs> alam niyo na kung anong amoy nila? Amoy tupa. Amoy tupa. Now, of course, nandudoon yung amoy ng, you know, you know uh, huwag na natin pag-usapan yun. But what I'm trying to tell you, brother, is this. Here is the angel appeared to the shepherds. And look at the announcement. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. You know, fear is not, hindi po yan tinasabing parang natakot sila, you know, because fear, 
Maraming marami hong nakalagay sa fear, no? Uh, involved po dyan, pati confusion, lahat na po. Eh, nagtataka sila, bakit, eh, you know? And so the Bible says, Fear not, for behold, I give you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. But listen, the angel appeared to the shepherds who are in the field filled with, come on now, sheep. And then the Bible says, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Now, alam niyo mga kapatid, ang nakita ko po rito. Imagine, this is night, evening, madilim. But in the darkness of the night, God knows where they are. Did you get that? Yeah. Alam ng Diyos kung nasaan sila. Alam natin, merong, merong mga patid, you know, the wise men, minsan naririnig natin yung mensahe dyan, they bring gifts, pero dumating sila na ipinanganak ng Panginoon. Now, think about this, think about this, na nag-a-announce pa lamang yung angel na merong ipapanganak. Tingnan nyo kung sino ang pangunahin na binigyan nila ng balita. Hindi mo matataas na tao, hindi mo makilala ng tao, mga taong amoy tupa. Amoy tupa. And in the darkness of the night, God knows where they are. Now, hindi po ba napakagandang encouragement nito na ang Diyos ay hindi lamang pumupunta ang kanyang presensya ay para sa mga magagaling, para sa mga pantas, para sa may pinag-aralan, para sa mga mayayaman, kundi para din doon sa mga tao na nasa kadiliman because God knows where they are. And they need God. In the darkness of my life, God knows where I am. And in the darkness of my life, He came to where I am. Is there anybody in this morning, this morning, in, in this auditorium this morning, na makapagsabi, may panahon sa buhay ko na hindi ko na makita ang liwanag, may panahon sa buhay ko na halos ayaw ko nang gumalaw, ayaw ko nang lumabas, ayaw ko nang makakita ng tao, pero salamat sa Panginoon, sa panahon ng kadiliman sa buhay ko, dumating ang presensya ng Diyos. Listen to me now. Kung meron man ho sa umagang ito na pwede ho magmalaki sa kanyang buhay na ikaw ay maayos ang iyong buhay ngayon, it is because in the darkness of your life, God knows where you are and He came where you are. Exactly where you are. Oh yeah, narinig po natin kanina ang patutuon ni Brother Al. You know, ako po hindi lamang nakikinig sa kanya kundi nakita ko po yan personally. I don't know kung sa akin dumating no kapanahunan na uh, si Lerma ay, ay merong cancer at inaalagaan po natin. Uh, kung wala ho ang Diyos, I don't know, mapapahiya po tayo lahat kung akong leader ninyo. Kung wala ang Diyos. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's only by the grace of God. It's only by the grace of God. How did it mean by the grace of God? Kapatid, nasira na ang reputasyon ng simbahang ito. But you know what? Thank God for Emmanuel. Thank God for Emmanuel. God is with us. And notice what the Bible says here. The Bible says, He appeared, the angel appeared to the shepherds. Ano sabi sa kanya? Alright, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. At yung Savior, kapatid, imagine, ha? He appeared to the shepherd. At yung Savior, alam niyo kung saan na po, kung anong ginawa ng angel, sinabi niya kung nasaan. And this shall be a sign unto you. So the angel told the shepherds how they are going to find the child. All right? Alam niyo mga kapatid, maging sa mga parabola sa Biblia, nauunawaan ko kung bakit may parabola. Upang maabot ng Panginoon ang pangangailangan ng kanyang mga anak. 
upang maabot ng Panginoon ang pangailangan ng mga tao. And look, we have the same thing here. Tignan niyo po mabuti ha. Follow me carefully. This shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the what? Babe, where? Wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Alright? Now, where is the manger? See that? Now, why in the manger, kapatid? Alam po natin na wala ng room. Sa in na pwedeng doon mga anak, si, si Mary, you, you know. Now, it was the pressure of the system of the world that put them into the, 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 the manger. Doon sa saban, doon sa barns, uh, uh, na, 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 na possible na nandoon yung manger. Now, listen to me now. It was the pressure of the system of the world. Bakit po? I don't know, ako yung nagpapasalamat ngayon, pero wag naman sana mawala. Mga kabataan, makinig kayong mabuti. Makinig kayong mabuti. Sapagat ako'y naranasan ko po ito sa Chinese country. Hong Kong, Taiwan, yeah, Macau, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yung mga Chinese na lugar na yan. Kapatid, wala sila, wala silang pakialam. Kahit na buntis ang nakatayo at sila'y nakaupo, hindi nila bibigyan, nila pauupuin yun. Wala silang pakialam. Nakalinya naka, na akong ganyan sa elevator, nakaganyan na ako, Nakita ako sa para magbukas. Pagbukas ng elevator, tinabig ako, pasok siya. Wala silang pakialam. So, noong araw, back in those days, kapatid, listen, alam nilang mga anak si Mary, kumatok naman. Pero mga kapatid, ang iniisip nila, nauunawaan ko pagod sila. Nauunawaan ko lahat talaga nangangailangan ng privacy at nangangailangan ng kapahingahan. But, considering na siya ay isang buntis na mga anak, wala man lang na give in. You understand what I'm saying? It was the pressure of the system of the world that put them in a manger. See that? Now, there are some people here or that are living in poverty. Na kaya po sila poor, kapatid, pag sinabi po not able, Okay? Because of the pressure of the system of the world, they cannot control their finances. Naunawaan niyo po, mga patid, na napakaraming mga kapatiran. Now listen, this is not to put you to shame. But listen, let's learn from this. Amen? Matuto po tayo sa mga bagay na ito. Minsan kahabol po natin sa selebrasyon ng Christmas, sa selebrasyon ng Pasko, at ano pa mga mga gatherings, kahabol natin sa mode, sa, sa, sa pananamit, sa uso ng sangliputan ito. Kapatid, I'm telling you, hindi na marurunong sila magkontrol ng finances. Kaya maraming nababaon sa utang at sila'y naghihirap sapagat hindi sila marunong magmanage ng kanilang finances. Sabi ko nga, pambira, makakita ka, mga kapatid. It's on. It's on. Alright, makakita, na, makakita ka ng mga young people dito. Kung pumor, magagayahin nila yung mga yung mga Koreano, K-pop, kung tawagin. Tama? Yeah, natuto na ako kay Roy. K-pop. Yeah. Ang alam ko naman, alam, popsicle lang eh. Pero tinuruan ako ni Roy, K-pop, sir, K-pop. Ano yung K? Korean. Yeah. Are you learning? Yes, sir. Oh, matagal na yan. Okay. Ako ang huli sa learning. Okay. But listen. Hindi ako makapaniwala. Gagayahin nila yung forma ng mga artista, forma ng mga K-pop na ito, K-pop star, you know, pupunta sa simbahan, hindi pang church. Pag sayaw ang suot nila, pag, pag ganun-ganun ba, you know, hindi pang church. You know, I can't understand that. But you know what? They have financial problem. So you understand what is pushing you to that poverty? Do you understand what the po push sa iyo, nagtutulak sa iyo para magkulang ka at magkasira-sira ang your finances? Listen to me now. Pagka nagkaroon ka ng problema sa finances, magkakaproblema ka sa pagkain. 
magkakaroon ka ng problema sa ibang bagay. You know, hanggang sa isang araw, mapapahiya na, masisira na ang reputasyon mo. Are you following me? Sapagkat tayo ay nagpapadala sa pressure ng system ng mundo. But you know what? Look at this. This is just an answer to the prophecy na ang Panginoon ay ipapanganak sa Bethlehem. And notice what the Bible says here. He was, the angel announced, I hope you're following me. Tinan nyo, nag-appear yung angel sa shepherds. Ano yung trabaho ng shepherds? Sasaan sila? Nasa field na field with sheep. I hope you're following me. Na sila'y amoy tupa. Ginabayan sila at ang sabi, pumunta ka doon sapagat makikita nyo ang baby na wrapped in a swaddling clothes lying in a manger. Pagpunta nila doon sa, sa lugar na nandoon, ano ang kanilang nakita? Tupa. Tupa. Sa anong trabaho ng mga ito? Nag-aalaga ng tupa. Saan sila? Nasaan doon ang, nasa ang, nasa ang Panginoon? Nandoon ang katabi niya? Tupa. Now, do you understand na ang, ang presensya ng Diyos ay para sa lahat? Ang presensya ng Diyos, anuman ang amoy natin sa buhay, anuman kababa ang position natin sa buhay, God can be with you. I mean, the Bible says, hindi walang piniling lugar ang Panginoon. Pero ipinakita niya sa outcast ng mga manggagawa ng society na pwedeng magpakita ang Panginoon. At pwedeng sumakan niya ang Panginoon. Now, here's another thing na gusto ko po makita niyo rito ang presensya ng Diyos. And notice what the Bible says, when they came, nakita nila ang manger, ang baby, katabi tupa. Alam niyo, madali mo unawaan ito ng mga shepherds eh. Bakit? Shepherds sila eh. Now, na, naunawaan niyo ba? Anong, anong klaseng damdamin meron kayo na makikita ninyo na nanggaling sa langit ang proclamation na ang sabi merong ipapanganak na tagapagligtas na buong sangkatauhan. Pagdating mo doon, hindi bago sa kanila yung nanat na nila. Bakit? May tupa. Para sasabihin nila, kabaro pala natin ito eh. Yung kanilang kapaguran, kapatid, yung kanilang kapaguran ay naramdaman po nila ang saya. Kaya ang sabi ng Biblia, notice what the Bible says here, I'm almost done. Verse number 20, And the shepherds, what? Return! glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Notice what the Bible says here. Everybody, everybody, heads up. Tapos na ako. Okay? Sabi ng Biblia, and the shepherds returned. Returned where? Of course, where they were. Returned eh. Hindi po sila pumunta sa bagong lugar. Bumalik po sila sa dati nilang lugar. Mapanghe, may mm, amoy, amoy tuba. Nandun pa rin yung pagod, araw, lamig. Lahat nang, nandun doon yung discouragement. Nandun doon yung ano ba to? Araw-araw na lang. Tupa sa umaga, tupa sa gabi, habol sa umaga, habol sa gabi, aboy tupa sa umaga, aboy tupa sa gabi. They return into the same place. But listen to me now, don't miss this. They return in the same place, but not the same spirit. I hope you're getting the point. Because the Bible says, they returned. The shepherds returned son, into the field filled with sheep. Balik sila sa trabaho nakakapagod. Balik sila sa trabaho hindi kinikilala sa lipunan. 
Balik sila sa trabaho ng mababa sa tingin ng lipunan. Balik sila sa trabaho ng marumi. Balik sila sa trabaho ng nakakapagod. Maraming lakas ang ini-exert. Pero kunti ang perang pumapasok. But you know what? They went back with another spirit. They went back with different spirit this time. Because now they are glorifying and praising God. You listen to me now. When we got saved, when we got saved, no tayo po inaligtas, hindi o huwi ka, nung naligtas ka, maaaring dito ka naligtas simbahan, huwag mong asahan na pagbalik mo yung mga tao hindi ligtas na mga maabutan mo sa bahay, huwag mong asahan na sila'y maniniwala ka agad sa'yo. Maaari yung kalungkutan ay parehas. Maaari yung discouragement ay parehas. Maaari yung kanilang pag-uugali ay parehas. The same place. But listen, most, the most important thing here is not the place. It's not what's going on there. The most important thing here is that you have different spirit when you return. The Bible says they are rejoicing. Kapatid, bumalik sila. May tae pa rin, but they are rejoicing. Bumalik sila, mapanghi pa rin, but they are rejoicing. Bumalik sila, mga tupa pa rin, na ang kulay ay lumublob sa kanilang mga, you know, but they are glorifying God and praising God. Bumalik sila, na nandoon pa rin sila sa lugar kung saan anong iniwanan at kung saan nag-appear yung angel. But listen to me now. May kalungkutan man, may kapaguran man. But this time we're praising God. Why? Because it's different now. The angel is not there anymore. The choir of the angel is not there anymore. But there is one that is with us that will never leave us nor forsake us. And that is Emmanuel. Emmanuel, when I am down. Emmanuel, when I am discouraged. Emmanuel, when I don't have money. Emmanuel, when I don't have food to put on the table. Emmanuel, pag walang bigas. Emmanuel, kung walang ulam. Emmanuel, kung walang pamasahe. Emmanuel, kahit na ano mangyari, God is with us. Maaari ngayong umaga, kapatid, hindi mo sigurado ang iyong tanghalian. You need Emmanuel. Babalik ka sa isang bahay na nandun sa labas, isang kwarto, halo-halo sa CR. But you listen to me now. What is important is that you will go home to this morning with Emmanuel. Babalik ka sa trabaho mo sa lunes o mamayang gabi na merong kapaguran na halos si mga tao mo hindi sumusunod sa iyo ang mga kasamahan mo hindi kinikilala ang effort mo e walang ginagawa para sa iyo babalik ka sa pamilya na mga membro ng pamilya mo hindi naniniwala sa iyo na ang iyong anak ay matigas ang ulo well I'm telling you if dad don't care kung sino ang madadagnan mo go back to where you were but this time you will go home with Emmanuel. 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 Uwi ka. Pagpunta mo rito sa church, inuubo ka. Emmanuel. Uwi ka na may lagnat ka. Emmanuel. Pagpunta mo rito, may cancer ka. Babalik ka sa bahay mo. The same thing. May cancer ka. Pero ang cancer mo, listen to me, don't miss that Emmanuel is born in your life. You are saved because of Emmanuel. <coughs> Don't miss it. Emmanuel. God is with us. They returned. Bumalik sila sa dating lugar. Hindi naman nagbago yung lugar. Pero nagbago ang spirit. This time, babalik ka sa bahay na katulad pa rin. Pero meron ka ng ibang spirit. Because of Emmanuel. Shall we all stand, please? Father, thank you for your words. What we need is Emmanuel, oh God. Yeah. Grabe na po ang nangyayari sa aming tahanan, pamilya. Grabe na po ang nangyayari sa uh, 
buhay po namin because of the pressure of the system of this world. But we praise you, O oh God, because thou hast a promise that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Emmanuel, God is with us. Is the assurance that everybody in this building this morning needs. Bless your people while they come, oh God, this morning. Speak to their hearts. Your heads about yours are closed. God is speaking to your hearts through the message this morning. Just step out of your seat and come forward. Kneel down and talk to God. Marami tayong room to, to, to kneel down. Let's do it. Let's kneel down. Let's talk to God. That's all we need, oh God. The assurance that you are with us. Thank you for Emmanuel. Thank you for your words, oh God. Thank you for the child who was born in Bethlehem, oh God. Now, we have the assurance that God is with us. Because the child was born. Bless your people, O God. Nakita niyo po, Panginoon, nakaupo po sa inyong har- uh, nakaluhod sa inyong harapan. O Diyos, dalangin ko po, na patuloy kayo manguna po sa amin, na uuwi po kami with a different spirit, O God. Because we know and we are assured that we have Emmanuel. Bless every effort na ginagawa po namin, O Diyos, para ma, ma-win po namin ang aming loved ones. Sapagat maaaring babalik po kami ngayon sa lugar namin Nang lugar po namin maaaring ay pugad ng inuman, pugad ng alak, pugad ng drugs, pugad ng sigarilyo, pugad ng, ng sugalan, Pugad ng lahat ng mga karumihan. Pero Panginoon, just like the shepherds, they went back to where they were. Pero Panginoon, bumalik po sila na merong different spirit. This time they are rejoicing, they are glorifying God, they are praising God because they have the assurance of Emmanuel. Thank you, O God, and give us the same spirit, O God. Uuwi po kami ngayon sa mga tahanan po namin na masigla. Uuwi po kami ngayon na may maayos na, na, na aura, Panginoon, sapagkat meron po kaming siguradong kasama. Mahaaring darat na po namin na aming tahanan na hindi maayos sapagkat umalis kami na hindi maayos. 
Maaaring darating po kami ng aming, ang mga asawa ay hindi maayos sapat umalis na hindi maayos. Pero this time, darating po kami na kami maayos sapagkat ang Diyos ay nasa amin. Pagpalain niyo po ang bawat isa ngayon sa pangalan po ni Jesus. Amen. Back to your place, please. Uh, please. At para po sa mga bisita po namin, manatili po kayo nakatayo. Ayaw para 